welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a very requested video and that is a study routine. Um, as you guys know, I am a university student so I am among my finals week. I have one more on Thursday and then I'm finished so I'm so excited. So I thought I'd put together a study routine video of the typical steps that I go through when I sit down for a study session for finals. This video is just an overview of what a night studying would look like for me. I'm a student just like you. I'm trying to be a good example. Hopefully this video motivates you, um, but I hope you guys all enjoy watching. The first thing I do before I start studying is clear off my desk space. This gives me lots of room to study and it's a lot easier to focus without all the clutter. Next, I go downstairs to make a snack. This will give me energy and nobody likes to study on an empty stomach, so you gotta make a snack. Here, I'm cutting an apple and a clementine. I do tend to go for fruits when I snack, um, when I'm studying. I just love fruit in general, so um, it's definitely my go-to snack when I'm studying. So that's my bowl of fruit. Another snack I tend to grab when I'm studying is a Greek yogurt. This is my favorite brand. These are from Costco and this is my favorite flavor. It's raspberry. Another option is uh, guacamole. These are these mini ones again from Costco and then um, a mini hummus. This one's by President's Choice. And then these are my favorite crackers to eat it with. They're sweet potato crackers, gluten free, again from Costco. Finally, when I study, I like to have a cup of ice water with me, so I'm just putting some ice from the freezer. Uh, we have an ice maker, so <laughs> I'm just putting some of that in my cup and then filling it up with the filtered water and bringing it upstairs. Sometimes I'll put a lemon in it, but I wasn't feeling it today, so I just like to sip on some water. It keeps me hydrated too. Then before going upstairs, obviously I procrastinate by cuddling with Merlot, but like he's so cute. Come on, how could you not? Then when I knock some sense into myself and I'm like, okay, I gotta study, I head upstairs and change into something more comfortable because I'm just wearing jeans from my day at school. So I changed into my onesie because it's a onesie and it's the most comfortable thing ever. And I also tied up my hair just because if I'm going to be studying and torching myself, I may as well be comfortable, right? So this onesie is from Fairweather, if, in case you're wondering. Then when I head back into my office, I grab all the materials that I'm going to be needing for studying. So my notebook, my planner, my textbooks, all my pens and highlighters. And then I set them all up um, so that they're all within my reach. I grab my snack and my planner and I just make a to-do list of what I want to accomplish in this study session, the chapters that I need to go over, and just my goals so that I stay on track during my study session. A great tip that I started doing recently is setting a timer. I usually set one for about 40 minutes because that's about the amount of time until I get bored. So I'll set a timer for 40 minutes and that forces me to sit down, be productive, and accomplish as much as I can in that 40 minutes, and then I allow myself to take a small break. First, what I normally do is go through my class notes. So these are my PowerPoints from in class. I print them off six to a page and make my own notes based on that. Um, so I'll highlight the actual PowerPoints, but then I go in with, uh, to my notebook and I'll make additional notes, uh, usually from the textbook, but also highlighting and taking consideration from what's on the PowerPoint slides that we use in the lectures. So I'll sit down and go through each chapter, reread it, and make notes based on what's important and what I need to remember, and so on. It used to take me forever to read a chapter in my textbook until I learned how to properly and efficiently uh, learned how to read. So you can skim through the headings and you'll figure out what's important and you'll read definitions on the side. Instead of reading the textbook, you know, from cover to cover, you can kind of read it more efficiently 
By looking at the headings, subheadings, and little text boxes on the sides with definitions and stuff, and you'll learn the information a lot faster. I like to keep chocolate in my room for my study breaks. These are chocolate covered fruit at least um, by Brookside. They're so good if you haven't tried them. I also like the pomegranates, but these are the acai berries. Finally, once I'm done making all my notes, whether it's from the textbook or summarizing lecture notes, I like to create mind maps. So if you've never heard of a mind map, it'll blow your mind. It's the best reviewing tool ever. So you put the key concepts in the middle of the bubble and then you connect all the related terms and key concepts to the main term. Then you can see everything as an overview and it just helps you organize it in your mind and know what's important. Then, once I've went over all the material that I had planned for the day, I like to get to sleep early just so that my mind can rest and I can either wake up tomorrow and study more or if this is the night before a final, then I'll be well rested and able to take my exam with full energy. Um, but before I go to bed, I crawl in with my notebook and just quickly, quickly go over the material just once more before I go to sleep. And then I blow out my candle and catch some Z's. <laughs> So that's about it for this video. I hope that this video inspired you to put down your computer, your iPad, your phone, and go study because your finals really matter and you wanna get a good grade in your courses. It's the very end and then we can all enjoy our holiday break together. If you're new to my channel, you can hit the subscribe button down below. Uh, that way you'll be notified when I put up new videos and also give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Thank you guys for watching. Leave me a comment below if you have any other tips for studying or what you do when you study. Do you study in your room? Do you study at a desk? In your bed? When you're sleeping? <laughs> but that's about it. I hope you guys all enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye!